Hi, I'm Jim with Roth Sugar Bush, and today we're going to talk about the operation of a filter press. So for today's example, we are going to be filtering syrup off one of our finishing tanks. Uh, we already have the DE powder mixed into the syrup. So we will simply charge the filter press with the syrup that is coming from our tank. The DE powder will coat our papers, and when the syrup starts to run clean out of the filter press, um, we can uh, go to put it in the barrel. So this is an example of a short bank electric filter or short bank filter press with an electric diaphragm pump. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to turn the pump on. We have the syrup down or the hose down in the tank to draw the syrup out. So what we're doing right now is we're starting to load the filter press. You start to see the syrup come through. It's traveling through the filter press and we're starting to filter. So we're gonna look here when our syrup starts to run clear, which it is, we're gonna shut off our filter press. We have a hook for filling barrels on the end of our hose. So we're gonna put the hook on the put the hook on the barrel, we're gonna fire up the filter press, and we're gonna to continue to filter. So as the syrup passes through the filter press as our filters uh, plug up with material. We're gonna see our pressure gauge start to increase on pressure. Normally with these pumps, if we get around 45 to 50 PSI, it's gonna be time to fill, uh, change our papers in our filter press. So we'll go through the, the process of, of filtering a little volume of syrup out here, and then we'll break apart the filter press to show you what's going on inside the filter press. As you can see, we're starting to come up on pressure. And when we start to come up on pressure, uh, we still have a fairly good flow through the filter press, but it definitely does slow our flow rate down. So we'll continue to filter. And as the pressure comes up, our flow rate is gonna continue to decrease. So we are filtering again, like say with our seven inch filter press. Um, this press is equipped with an electric pump. It does, has a, it does have a safety switch in it. So when our pressure starts to rise up to approximately 55 to 60 PSI, we're gonna see that pump uh, start to perform intermittently as it hits up against its safety switch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the press on. We're gonna start the filter just a little bit more. You can tell that our, our press is wanting to open and close, start up and stop. What we can do to cheat to get more through the press is we can open up our, our bypass valve which is gonna divert some of the syrup away from the filter press and take it out and put it back into our tank. So by opening that up, we still have a very large volume of syrup coming through the filter press, but we are bleeding that excess pressure off, sending it back into the tank that we're drawing off from so that we can continue to filter and get more volume through that filter press. Okay, um, we are still filtering. You can see that our pressure has come down I've opened up our bypass valve a little bit more. We're still getting a fairly good flow of syrup through the filter press. So like I say, we're trying to get as much uh, through this press that we possibly can. Okay, so we filtered with the filter press. Now we're gonna take it apart and see what, what the papers look like inside. So we're just like say, simply gonna open up the filter press and we're gonna see how good of a job we did with our DE powder mixture. Slowly take it apart. Now we did not run the filter press until it was completely loaded or completely full. So we're gonna pull the papers apart and uh, we're gonna look at our papers and see what things look like. Usually what I do when I'm working with the press is I'll flip my plates like this. That allows that excess syrup to, to run out of that, uh, run out of the, uh, the hollow cavity so you can not waste as much syrup. So we're gonna pull one of these apart and just see kind of what it looks like inside. You can see that we were in the process of, of building a relatively solid cake, okay? 
So we did not run this all the way up to pressure to the point where we couldn't get any more syrup through it. So we do have some space within our cavity. But really what we're looking at is once we get our filter press up to pressure, say 55 or 60 pounds, we should have a solid cake in the inside of our cavity. What that means is that we use enough DE powder to maxi maximize our filtration.